Hello beautiful people, you're welcome back to my channel. <laughs> On today's video, I will be reviewing the Maybelline Super Stay Foundation. This is what it looks like. If you would like to see my thoughts on this foundation, my recommendations, what I like, what I do not like, please please watch to the end to see. On today's video, we will be reviewing the Maybelline Super Stay Foundation. And this is in the shade 360 Mocha Mocha. Yes, guys. So, first off, we're going to start with the packaging of this foundation. It's in a cute bottle, very portable as you can see, and comes with a cover that you can pop off, and it has a pump. This is what you use to pump out the foundation. As you can see, this is what it looks like. It doesn't drip as much. It's a bit thick. So even if you have this on the surface, you can turn it around like this and it won't start leaking down your hands. So I'm going to go ahead now to apply this on my face. I'll be using a brush, a foundation brush. And you guys know when I'm reviewing foundations, I don't apply anything on my skin, on my face. So we can actually see if the foundation is good without a primer. Do you understand? guys so far you can see I've applied foundation on this side of my face and this side has no foundation at all well from what I can see it looks super blendable it looks very blendable although I don't think it looks like skin I think somebody can tell that you're wearing foundation yes but however it still blends very well on your skin so I'm just going to go ahead now to apply it all over my face. So guys, so far, this is what it looks like. You can see that it matches my neck. And I didn't apply too much. I just took two pumps from the bottle. So basically, you can use one pump or one and a half it covers blemishes it covers dark spots i think i had a tiny dark spot around this area but i don't think you can see it anymore so i think i like that about this foundation and alongside the fact that it is full full coverage like you don't have to be applying two or three layers before you can fully get your full coverage Okay, I'm going to go ahead now to highlight my face and I'll be back. Guys, as you can see, I perfected this look using the Maybelline Super Stay Foundation. And right now, I'm just going to be blotting this tissue paper on my face. So we will check if it's going to transfer to this tissue. I'm just going to do that right away and show you guys. So there's actually a transfer but it is not yours there's a transfer but it's very 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 minimal so the next thing i'm going to do now is the water test i'm going to spray this side of my face with water and then we would see if this foundation is going to leak out or it's going to start having you know giving me eczema on my face dot 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 everywhere so let's try this
wow it's actually dripping brown i think i can see some lines already you see my going on right here so okay i'm going to dab that away so this is what it looks like after dabbing it dabbing the water of it still there but it's not completely there do you understand yes okay foundation what are the things i like about this foundation it has full coverage number one that's number one for people that have acne or you have blemishes you can use this just one layer and it's going to completely cover up blemishes your acne your spots and so on and so forth it is full coverage and that's actually true it is written on the bottle what else do i like about this foundation it is not completely light like if you if you pump it on your hand it's not going to just slip away the next minute it is actually it's not too thick it's in the middle kind of like in the middle not too thick not too light yes yeah, so i like the texture of the foundation what else do i like about this foundation it is very possible travel friendly so right away i'm going to be talking about the things i do not like about this foundation number one please what's all this what's this are you trying to say i should not smile in public or worse no what are you trying to say because I can't wear foundation and then smile and then my smile lines are looking like this looking like I'm 70 having wrinkles all over my face that's one of the things I don't like about this foundation what else why I like about this foundation why why can somebody explain to me why it has to be in a bottle why does it have to be in a bottle? If this thing should fall, in, fall from my hand now, what happened in 1980 will happen again. Those of you that are regular on my channel, you know what I'm talking about. Why does it have to be in a bottle? I'll do the job if you put it in a plastic container that if it falls, I will still be able to pick it up and it will still look the same and I will still be able to use it for as long as I want. Because right now, if it falls from my hand, going to be shattered okay maybe not completely shattered because the bottle is kind of thick it's thicker than some other foundations it has a lot of layers as you can see yes but it's still in the bottles in the glass so if it should fall from high place to the tiles or to the ground or whatever it's going to break that's something else i don't like about this foundation number three i feel it's too thick Cause right now i just feel like i want to just peel off the mask away from my face i feel like it's too thick is it just me maybe it's just me but to me i like my foundation to look absolutely natural and i can pass for i'm not wearing foundation you understand that kind of thing but right now obviously i'm wearing foundation in my opinion it looks really thick but for people that like thick foundation or you like it to, you like it to look like you're actually wearing foundation when you're wearing foundation this is the foundation for you but for me it's too thick and i think that that's another reason why when you smile it's going to leave this line here and i feel like it's going to crease in other areas in like a few hours do you understand yes but i've actually used this foundation a lot like i've used it for a couple of hours throughout the day and it lasted for the entire day and people are always like oh are you serious you bought this foundation since morning or you just touched your face even without touching your face it still looks flawless basically so even if you sweat it's it's not going to be obvious that oh you've had a long day or you were stressed out at work or you went for a party and you dance 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 it's still going to be in place apart from this drama that is going on here and then i also tried using water on my face it didn't completely get rid of the foundation so i guess we can say that it's sort of water resistant but not 100 percent because if you come really close to my face here you can see that there are some patches so basically if you use this foundation and 
maybe you walk into the rain or water splashes on your face it's not going to be completely ruined yes guys with these few points of mind i hope i've been able to convince you and not confuse you that you should try out the my that you should try out the maybelline super stay full coverage foundation and get back to me don't forget to leave your comments when you try this foundation out don't forget to leave your experience don't forget to like this video don't forget to share this link to your friends and family thank you guys so much for watching 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 <laughs> see you in my next video guys bye